So we just heard a pika call and this general direction up on the slope where I see one as well. So we have a pika call and a pika sighting to record. My name is Laura Getz and I'm a young leader in climate change here at Rocky Mountain National Park and I um, have the honor of getting to live and work out here this summer. I'm putting together a long-term monitoring program for the pika in the park. Uh, so we're trying to collect data on the presence and absence of pika to better understand the distribution of pika throughout the park. We'll start the timed search. So we need to take 20 to 30 minutes and search our entire plot, which is 24 meters in diameter. We have navigated ourselves to a plot in the Bear Lake area. We're up at high elevation um, on a talus slope, which is considered pika habitat. Um, we have 72 different plots scattered throughout the park. Pika are considered a climate indicator species. They can survive in only a, in a very, very narrow range of climatic conditions. Um, they're very sensitive to the cold and they're very sensitive to the heat. So they're reliant on cool temperatures up here in the summers um, and heavy snowpack to insulate them from the cold in the winters. And so when we see shifts in the climate, we tend to see shifts in pika populations. Here we have a sign of pika urine, and that is certainly pika scat. Um, so we want to collect a minimum of four pellets, and then ideally nine, uh, so that we can test the stress hormones. But with four, we can test for genetic material to help us understand the genetic makeup of the pika in this area and get a better sense of connectivity park-wide. The high genetic diversity that we have here in Rocky Mountain National Park is, is very valuable. It breeds resilience. Um, in the pika populations here. The more genetic diversity we have, uh, the better chance they may stand of fighting stressors such as disease. Yeah, and old hay, we know the hay is old. So it's a wonderful opportunity to work with volunteers here in this park. They are an incredible asset. I'm definitely gonna come back for more volunteership and uh, continue the pika project because, you know, pika being climate indicators, it's an important thing to research. The satisfaction I gain from the work is I just like to help the National Park make sure that um, everything is you know, monitoring that they want to monitor and I really like helping in that area. You know, with the researchers providing the guidance and what data to collect, it's very beneficial for overall you know, understanding of our, our, our changing world. My position is very temporary and there's only so much I can do in this time. And so every day out here that I get to spend with a volunteer, um, is another opportunity to further the work that we're doing here long term. This is a great opportunity for me to gain insight into climate science and what is occurring here. Just a small taste of what's occurring in this national park and in national parks across the U.S. right now. And then pika, of course, you know, who doesn't love pika? <laughs>